Today I'm going to be showing you how to measure an upper extremity girth in order to track changes if you're treating your patient for upper extremity edema and to measure for a compression garment as your patient needs it. When you're measuring the upper extremity, the anatomical landmarks that you want to notice are the palm, the wrist, mid forearm, across the elbow, mid upper arm, and the axilla. I'm now going to go through and measure this arm and show you some um, examples of where you might run into trouble or some tips how to do it with your patient who has a swollen arm unlike this one. So let's begin at the palm. When you're measuring across the palm you go above the thumb across the center of the palm like so and take your measurement there. Our next measurement will be the wrist. When you're measuring the wrist, you want to try and measure across the bony prominences of the wrist. This can sometimes be hard to palpate in your patients who have a lot of swelling. If you're worried about having a consistency in your measurement, what you can always do is take your measurement at the wrist here and then also measure how far your measurement was from the next anatomical landmark such as the MCP or the top of the finger. We'll now move on to mid forearm. Again, the same rules apply. If you are not sure if this is truly the mid forearm, if you want to have consistency within your measurements, you can always take your measurement here and then mark on your paper how far your measurement was from the next anatomical landmark. This will ensure consistency across your measurements. Of course, in, at times you're going to have trouble if a patient has, say, a wound or a decreased skin integrity in this area. If you can't measure at exactly the mid forearm, you can take a measurement from an area that's safe to measure from, that's where the skin is not where the skin is intact, say for the here for example, and again just mark on your form how far that is from the next anatomical landmark. So the mid forearm measurement was taken at the upper forearm, which was eight centimeters from the cubital fossa. This will make sure that you're consistent across your measurements. Our next anatomical landmark is the elbow. This goes right across the cubital fossa like so. We're then going to move up to the upper arm, mid upper arm. Have your patient relax their arm and take the measurement right there. And lastly we measure at the axilla. When you're measuring at the axilla you want to get as far up into the axillary region as you can, but you don't want to measure diagonally across the axilla like so. Reasons being, this is a hard measurement to be consistent with if you're going diagonally. And also, if you are measuring for a compression garment, a compression garment will stop perpendicular to the floor, parallel to the floor. So you want to measure your patient's girth in the axilla, parallel to the floor, like so. It's important to take these measurements at least once a week during the acute phase of edema management in order to track the changes that you're affecting. Um, you may also want to take the measurements after you've removed the compression garment or the compression bandages to show what kind of results you're getting with compression for a certain period of time. ARC Seminars has an extremity girth measurement tool that you can also use and you can find this through our website. Please go to arcseminars.vet to, for more videos on girth measurements, edema management, and top tips.